Hello, this is Tony Heller from RockClimateScience.com. The press and U.S. government have been pushing the worst drought in 1,200 years scam in California for quite a while now. They say that the burning of fossil fuels means the end of snow for California. A year ago, National Geographic said the drought could last until the year 2030. And just a couple of weeks ago, they were still insisting that California was experiencing a mega drought. Meanwhile, back in the real California, they're experiencing all-time record snow. This doesn't look too much like a mega drought. Ski areas in California are struggling to stay open because they're getting too much snow. Lake Tahoe is experiencing their coldest and snowiest winter on record. Yosemite National Park is closed because they have too much snow. The press is starting to realize that nobody's buying their scam anymore, so now they're shape-shifting the story. The new story is that global warming is going to cause it to rain in the Sierra Nevada, causing massive floods. In a warmer climate, you might get more rain on snow at those higher elevations, said hydrologist Keith Musselman, an assistant professor at the University of Colorado in Boulder. He must have missed the part about this being the coldest winter on record in the California mountains. California's worst flood occurred in January 1862 when warm rain fell on the snow in the Sierra Nevada and caused all the snow to wash away. The catastrophe began with a snowstorm in the Sierra. In early December 1861, upwards of 15 feet of snow fell in California's eastern mountains. What followed, researchers believe, was a series of atmospheric rivers. For 40 days, they kept coming, bringing warm rain and high winds. All of the fresh Sierra snow melted, turning frozen creeks into raging rivers as the water poured downstream. Anyone who skis the Sierra Nevada knows that rain on snow is a very common event there, with the most famous occurrence being in 1960. The 1960 Winter Olympics at Squaw Valley, California almost had to be canceled because rain washed all the snow away ahead of the games. The key thing for the press and climate academics is to keep their scam alive and to keep the money coming in. Science, history, and reality never have anything to do with their agenda. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this big money scam for the past 15 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Toki Upla, and the four new puppies on the web at realclimatescience.com.